Hello YouTube, this will be just a short update on my bootloader burner and I showed it to you with, uh, in the first video uh, with my vacuum pen and uh, I wanted to make a second video where I pick and place the chips with my uh, angled tweezer here because not everybody will have a vacuum pen of course and I personally use the tweezer more than the vacuum pen because it's just faster. Anyhow, I did get some new chips. Uh, these are from AliExpress and I have not unpacked them yet. And let me show you again how it goes. Uh, I also wanted to thank the six people who bought the bootloader from me. Thank you very much and this one is actually for Brian and I will ship it out today. I can't get this thing to open. Okay. What I actually do first is uh, make sure that the chips are all oriented in the correct way, meaning that pin 1 is always in the same position, just to make sure I don't make any mistakes. And then I orient it or put the uh, tray down in the way it will go into the place. Like here, it's on the top left corner, and I put them there, and then I have my tray where I put the ones that are already bootloader burned. So and then I just go this is this. Uh, in the first video I showed it how I put the burner on the table and then press down. But actually it's easier if you hold it like this in your finger and do it that way. So I'll just pick one up. And uh, I think I mentioned it right now there is no power on the pins. They all get power when the chip is going burnt and you can see here it says target power off right now so i put the chip in press and hold it with the thumb hit reset and excuse me that buzzer is very loud and you see it says done target power off and then you can just pick it up put it on your tray pick the next one Put it in, press, and press reset again. Done. And uh, as I mentioned, you have a 6-pin ISP header. And you can also connect a 6-pin uh, pogo pin that you can optionally get. And that way I have, for example, PCBs. Right on this one where I have the pins to burn the bootloader directly on the PCB so I don't have to do it before. I can just have this uh, soldered on and then burn the bootloader on here. I also made uh, shared the link to my Eagle library for this part here that you can use on your PCBs. And failed so I probably didn't push hard enough done also if you are not sure if you did burn the bootloader you can repeat the process so I push it again done so this is how I do it if you don't mind let me do all 10 of them that I got Failed. Sometimes you don't push down hard enough. Failed. Or the chip is defective. Which is a possibility. Ask me how I know. Uh, like I said, these are from AliExpress. I just got them to test them out. And even if I get one failed one in there, 
I will not order them because normally I get them from uh, Mauser. But of course there's a price difference, but sometimes it's not worth the hassle. Failed. So that was my mistake. And sometimes I go back and try the failed one again. And then all of a sudden it works. Failed. So I won't bother with that. Get the next one, put it in. Done. Oh, that peeping sound is so loud. I can imagine being obnoxious in the video. Sorry about that. I should put some tape on there. Oh, set done. There you go. Failed. I guess I stick to Mauser. I really don't have the time to do this. Failed. Let's try. I don't know if these are uh, how you call them in English. In German, we say Beware. Let's try this again. Give them a second chance. Failed. Well, three out of ten have problems, obviously. So, anyhow, uh, the OptiLoader works as I showed you here. And uh, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. And uh, I wish everybody a nice weekend, upcoming weekend. Thanks a lot for watching. Take care.